simple terms. You are only as holy as you are entangled with, God, with those God has placed in your life. Now, let me see if I can help us get this better understanding. Okay, this is us. This is your life. This is you being a mess. <laughs> this is you recognizing you're a mess. This is you saying, Jesus, take the mess of my life and make me holy. Straighten me out. Now we then think, understandably, what do you do with a tangled knot of rope? You start, you grab, you find the end, and you start to untangle it and, you know, fix it and straighten it out and that sort of thing. That's not what Luke's talking about. That's not real holiness. That's not what Jesus does. What Jesus does is he looks around and he goes, oh, here's another tangled mess. Let's put you together. Let's just kind of intertwine you and, and then look around and go, oh, wow, here's a good-looking rope. Here's one that's got their act together. Except for this one really fat knot in their life that hangs them up that only they know about. He goes, all right, we'll fix you. Here, let's just kind of put you all around like this and... All right, now nah, it's looking good. Then there's those of us who have, um, gosh, we grew up in the church. We're Actually, we, we don't have many sins. We haven't done anything bad in our life. We don't have much of a story. If I pull on one end, you know, I, I will, it will come undone, and you can kind of shake it loose, and then we're good. And he goes, okay, I'm going to take you, church kid who has very little sins, you're not very bad, you, you look kind of holy on the outside, we're really going to make you holy. Here. Well, here, let's just throw you into this mess because that's how you really get holy. He takes the one who doesn't have much to offer at all, puts you in there too. He takes the ones who think they're so different than anybody else. I'm a bungee cord. I'm not a rope. <laughs> I'm not like them. I have flexibility. I'm more useful. Yeah, 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 we get it. Okay, you, you know, <laughs> here we go. And he goes, this is holiness. That's Acts. That's what you're reading. It's not pretty, but it is beautiful. It's not easy, but it is profound. And it is what the Lord is after. And it is what he calls good. Now, as time goes on in life and we're in this thing that we thought Jesus was going to untangle, and we go, I can't take this anymore. I can't take this life, these people, this Christian thing. And we try to pull ourselves out of it. Because we think, if I can just get out of it, then I'll be okay, and I'll work out my issues on my own. Beloved, you'll never get holy that way, because holiness is this. That's the Bible. That's the whole New Testament. That's all the epistles. That's everything. That's what God wants. Holiness only comes in the tangled mess of community. And God says, I love this. This is what I died for. Got it?